What's going on YouTube? Noah Five Ash back with another road back to a thousand. We are out here still in the uh, St. Louis area. Uh, we grabbed a bunch of Frisbees from the last uh, video. As you guys saw, I had a little uh, factory tour. I went in there, picked out a bunch of goodies, got some new drivers, got some, uh, you know, old drivers, you know, not old drivers, but just uh, got some of the original molds. I got some like new molds. I got some more Devil Hawks, I got some Fairways, I got some, uh, I didn't grab any mid-ranges, I felt like I was good on the mid-ranges. I might actually go look for a Morningstar or two, ask somebody if they know where a premium one is. But I know I'm like that, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in the bag. So I'll show you guys the box real quick. Oh. Hooked it up with some stuff. We got this sweet, it's got a devil hawk top here and a voodoo bottom. Holly putted with a voodoo back in the day. So she said she she picked this up and she's like, ooh, I love the feeling of this. And I told her what it was and she laughed. So there's a devil hawk top, which is my favorite voodoo bottom. I'm gonna see if it goes a little bit further than the devil hawks. Cause the devil hawks do tend to fly like a bird, you know, not very far. So we're gonna try that out, test that out. I think it's just a prototype dish. So I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's, I mean, it's a mold, obviously they can print them out and and produce them but somebody usually they try and sell it to like a, a a sister company like an agl or something and then have them put a little name on it and that's how they run most of their combined frisbees sweet devil hawk here lost my my uh cory falcons premium one over at otb so i had to grab a new one i think i grabbed like two more uh we got an ether here got the sick ether stamp with the uh noah five ash and Holly Finley Ace stamp on top of it. I know these ethers, this is the first run ethers and I know these fly good. I got two of those in my original box and they bomb. I went to the back section of the X out. This is like an, a super old school. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but that's like, it's like chalk coming off of this disc. It's like, it's one of those old school chalky kind of old Frisbees that I found it in the back. So it, it looked good felt good kind of reminded me of my baby blue so i scooped it up uh david hooked me up with some prototype frisbees um you know we're gonna try them out and so you know we got i think this is just a this is just a spell right here i got a nice diamond spell it looked good scooped it up prototype uh this is the javelin the javelin but i took it and i david took it on a sand belt and shaved it down in the factory so he kind of took it and shaved off a little bit of uh, of uh, plastic right here. So it should make it a little bit flippier, pop up a little bit easier, hopefully go far. Another spell, prototype, another little prototype disc. It's got a, um, I think this is the ether top. And then they have a new bottom, as you can see right there. If you could see it, I'm not sure. Let me look in the camera. So you kind of see right there on the bottom of the disc. Right here is really flat. So they're trying this uh, this new bottom out on a couple different molds. Got a sick old school assassin here. Uh, some spirits with the stamp on it. Another one of those. My favorite disc in the Gateway lineup, driver-wise, other than the Ether, like the original, the original driver that I enjoyed the most out of the uh, collection was the spell or the sorry, the Spirits. So I got a bunch of Spirits. These ones are a little domey, nice and poppy. Put a bunch of fucking stamps on this one. That one's that one's sick. I always loved factory seconds that look like this. So I went into the factory and fucking did it up myself. Check it out, baby. Cool, I love the multi stamps. Right. I uh, got some sick American flag. This one's uh, double stamped with the Rastafarian. Got just some regular Rastafarian. Double stamped, uh, double stamped with this uh, gold foil, another gold foil. And then I did a little, uh, little green with the white background. I think Corey did this one, so that one looks sick. Three more premium Devil Hawks. These got the factory second. Uh, if I'm liking all the, all the all these discs that I got, I'm gonna try and put a, a gateway stamp on them. I'm gonna try and stamp them gateway. So hopefully, uh, 
I can get that little logo stamped on all these frisbees and stuff. A little five ash logo. It's, it looks sweet. I love it on like stock stamp frisbees. I grabbed a stack of ethers here. Um, I grabbed these these red ones. Kind of reminded me of the green first runs. Uh, nice and domey. Got the nice wing on it. That one looks like it's gonna bomb. These red ones reminded me of it. Nice and domey. Felt like they were gonna bomb as well. Uh, and then I found these. Um, I found these ones. They're like stupid stiff. I'm not even. I'm not even sure. Y'all can't really tell, but they're dumb stiff board flat they feel like they're gonna go a country mile like they feel like they're gonna be great for flicking and backhands uh the wing looks like it sits up nice so i think it's gonna be i think they're gonna be good so i grabbed three of them this one actually is a little different this one just has that gradual dome on it it's not like, like these ones are like bored this one's a little warped but this one right here i don't know if you guys could tell but board flat there compared to that one Y'all can kind of see there the differences. But yeah, so I'm excited to try this one out. Got a new prototype disc. I can't remember. It was a certain top and a bottom, but it looks... This disc looks like it'll fucking bomb. And it feels, it feels good too. Like just the way the side kind of profile sits and stuff. Could be a little flippy, I don't know. We'll find out. Another ether here. This is a new, this is a second run ether, so I'm not sure how that's gonna fly. Got another one of those new prototypes. I got a Diablo here, trying out some Diablos. This run, real stiff, little dome, micro bead felt really good. Another realm right here. These are my these are the flippier realms, this purple run. I mean they're they're neutral to flippy for me, you know, and I could throw it five to six hundred feet. So it's like is that neutral for you? Probably probably not. It'll probably be a little stable. So, Got another one of those prototype discs. Not sure what it is, but it feels like it'll go far. One of my favorite fairways in the Gateway lineup, the Ninja. Scooped one of these up. Not running too low on those. Uh, got a sick baseline glow Devil Hawk. I love the feel of these glows, so I scooped one up. Uh, another Ninja here. Got... A little bit of a flatter one i've tend like the flatter ones tend to hold that like straight to any more but they they don't seem to beat in it's weird but then like the domier ones will be a little bit more stable out the rip so that's a little key tip for the ninjas for you guys uh second run ether but it's in this sick like clear kind of champion plastic felt great uh No idea what this one is. I think it's one of the newer molds with that flat bottom on there. Uh, I think this is an ether. I can't remember what it is. This is another, another ether here, second run though. I'm excited to try out the second runs. And then he hooked it up with this ether right here. This one's like super stiff, little dome. This one feels like it's gonna bomb. So I'm excited to try this second run out. Cause you know, I, I like to try them all out. Um, I'll try them out see if they're good if if not then i just I'll, I'll just go put them back you know i'll just fucking i don't know i'll just put them back clean them off make sure make sure they're cleaned off and i'll just put them back and then get some uh get some real good freshies that were good in the lineup you know like if those red ethers are good i'll go back because i think there was like 10 on the show i don't know 10 or 20 on the shelf i'll go back and i'll grab five to ten of them bitches just because you need to have a good consistent flyer so let's try them out i'll see you guys when i throw them What's going on guys? I don't know if you can see, but in the background over there, there's a little statue right there, like right in there. I'm a, I'm a range, I'm gonna range find that statue in those bushes, see how far they are.
right. Reason I had to tell Holly that it was 544 feet. That's what I got to that little statue over there. It's because she was like, are you sure that's even big enough? It looks like I could throw a putter to that statue from here. I'm like, I'm like, you can't even get your damn katana. You're 13 speed over there, dog. I, I promise you ain't getting no putter over there. And so it's, I'm glad to know that my depth perception isn't off. That bitch is 544. It looked far, it is far. We're gonna warm up with some devil hawks. I'm only gonna do backhands only today just because uh, sidearms, you just need to save your bullets at the end of the day. Save, save your bullets on the sidearm. Practice it maybe like twice a week, hard, hard. I'm talking go hard like twice a week, but make sure when you rest and go hard on the resting as well. So we're gonna do backhands, try out these devil hawks, compare them to that other uh, voodoo bottom with the devil hawk top. As you can see, these premium devil hawks, they don't fly very far, so we're gonna rip these two a little bit harder. That one, that one flew nice. I don't know if it's because I threw it harder or what, but that one flew really nice, not as beefy. That's probably what you could expect more from a devil hawk flight. That blue one was different. That one was really straight. I'm kind of excited to get my hands on that one. All right, these are the uh, voodoo bottom with the devil hawk top. Let's see if they fly further, a little straighter, more stable, less glide, more glide. Let's find out. Little hyzer, didn't feel much of a difference between the Devil Hawk and that one. Definitely felt a little bit straighter, not as dumpy, but not, not more glide or anything. Definitely felt like about the same amount of glide, just didn't have as much finish. We're gonna try this one on Annie. Definitely got some push to her. Definitely not as stable as a regular Devil Hawk. Really liking that. I'm not sure if it flies further. We'd have to go look to see where the Devil Hawk is in comparison to the uh, to the uh, to that prototype disc. I don't. It's not, it doesn't even have a name. I'm not sure why I'm trying to name it. But let's move on to some fairways and distance drivers. All right, we're gonna start off with the assassin here. We got assassin, two ninjas, one Diablo. That thing just like popped up in just the slowest drift, man. That's exactly what I expect out of assassin. Just the best straight to like understable flying seven speed. I mean, it's 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 a good frisbee. little hyzer flip to turn over that one honestly I, I thought it wasn't going to be that stable but i grabbed it just because uh that run was stable but i could just tell 
because it wasn't stiff enough. You really need a stiff domey run. The, the ones that are a little gummier tend to kind of fly a little flippier. This one, I expect it to be a little bit more straight, a little bit more stable, but let's find out. Definitely threw that one on more hyzer, but uh, still, still a great shot. Let's try this nice Diablo. This thing is, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that thing is stiff and it feels good. Uh, yeah, that's the reason I really don't throw the Diablo. It just doesn't, it's just not, it's not my disc. I don't know. It's just me and the Diablo. We, we don't jive. We don't jive well together. Alright, I pretty much picked out all the ones that I was excited to try out, like uh, this flippier, straighter realm, some prototypes, uh, this ether right here, it's a second, I'm excited to try the second run ethers out, that's what I'm really excited for, hopefully I'm, hopefully they're as good as the first runs for me, uh, but yeah, let's find out, we'll, let's go with this old school frisbee first, baby blue, not baby blue, but this is a dark blue, uh, illusion, you can see it's chalking off, so let's see how it flies. A little flippy, but honestly, it kind of like pan. It like panned out. That's why I like about the illusions. It's like as long as you give them some airtime, they don't like necessarily like to uh, cut roll a lot. And like, kind of like the ninjas, in my opinion, like the ninjas and the illusions. For some reason, when they lose that uh, speed, they get this late stability that just kind of lets it pan out. It almost looks like it's picking it up, and like the wind is helping it. But it, it just—that's just how the frisbee flies. All right, we got a new prototype disc here. Let's try it out. That was nice. It kind of like popped up, just slow drifted. Not as bad as the illusion, a lot better. Just pretty much straight. It was like straight to like slide in, but I did rip over on it kind of. So let's try the other one out. I got two of them, so. Don't feel like I threw that one very good. It kind of ripped over on it. Uh, it didn't stay down in like nice hyzer, so let's, it's okay. I mean, that one felt good. Not as good as the ethers. I think the ethers are a little bit better for me. We'll, we'll, we'll keep trying them. This is the disc I was most excited about. It's got that new bottom, nice uh, ether top, I think. So it feels like it's gonna bomb. Another prototype. that that thing was what David David said this run right here is supposed to be a good one but he said that there's a run that's beefier so and that was beefy as hell so I'm gonna try and rip over on this one a little bit more and see what it flies like when I kind of off axis torque it
that thing literally just boom perfect little drift nice hyzer back that thing's probably the best flyer of the day so far whatever that disc was it's a winner all right i think we got this weird uh like frisbee i can't remember what it is but I mean, definitely flippy, but I, I threw it perfect. It fucking, poof, full flighted. I'm excited to range these out. This is this ether. Uh, I think, was it? I'm pretty sure Corey took me to this one and was like, try this one out. This one, it's got this nice, like, shimmery, kind of sparkly kind of ness to it. Super stiff, super domey. Not super domey, but decently domey. Yeah, even the I think even the second run ethers are pretty decent so far. Uh, they're 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 a neutral to flippy mid range for the for the 450 to 500 foot thrower. And I would I would I would put on on my green ether that I have in my bag. I put it next to any distance driver I've ever thrown from from Innova, from Discraft, from anywhere. I'll put it up against any distance driver for a distance contest any of them emperor you name it i'll put it up against that shit and i'll be confident to beat whatever because the ethers fly far we've got a spell here uh, i grabbed this off the shelf while i was walking out just to try it out Uh, that was no good. That was no good. We're gonna try this one out though. I'm not sure what it is. All right, I'm kind of getting a little tired. I might need to get, grab a little drink or something because I'm, I'm starting to rip over on them. But we're gonna try this realm out one last time. All right, one thing I did want to compare was a second run ether. To a first run ether, all right? So show you guys some of the similarities and differences in like the wing profile, just cause molds, plastics, the heat, the temperature, the time of day, it all comes into play when you're uh, making Frisbees. So let's check them out. Oh, oh. As you can see, the, the nose, I can stick them together. There we go. Oh shit. God, the nose right there is a little thicker on the on the second run. You can kind of tell at the very tip at the very tip of the frisbees. That nose is just a little bit more blunt on that second run. So I'm not sure if it's gonna affect it good or bad or make it more stable or what, but let's let's find out. We'll go with the uh, we'll go with the first run first because I know how it flies. Disc is so that 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 first run green ethers are so good, dude. I, I don't know if y'all could see it, but it, it just literally a little hyzer popped up, slight ante, fall down. It's a, pretty much a dead straight, four fifty, almost five bill shot.
definitely a tad bit flippier than the first runs, which is okay, you know. Not every run can be the most beefy for Noah, all right? That's, that's one thing I gotta learn, so. We got first runs. I can go get more first runs. Let's try out the red ether first run and see if that is on par with the green ones. Wasn't very smooth in my run up, kind of yanked over on it. Uh, let's try another red one. That one, I made that one look real flippy, so. Whole lot whole lot better on that second flight yeah yeah that first one i just yanked it bad uh definitely like the red ones very similar to greens maybe not as stable but definitely cl very close very close Here's another second run ether. It's a little bit of a more like champy clear plastic. It says diamond though, I think. Yeah, it's a diamond plastic, but it's really clear and see-through. Yeah, the second run ethers, they're a little bit flippier so far. I haven't found one that's too stable, but that's okay. I got the first runs. I want to try out this white first run board flat. That board flat one that I was showing you guys. Let's try that one out. <laughs> I think this one might be one of my new babies right here. Oh my god oh my god that thing was straight to stable holy shit guys that thing whatever was in that thing gas i personally throw the javelin here and there uh kind of bleeds over in my spirit a little bit it just has less like left it just kind of falls out the sky more it doesn't have that nice like left movement but david took this javelin took it on a grinder shaved down this outside so we're gonna see if it's uh perfect or dog shit flipping Yep, David David knows exactly what he's doing. He's like, I shaved off point blah, blah, blah off of this Frisbee, you tell me how it flies. And it flew perfect, not too beefy, not too flippy. Uh, David is definitely a wizard back there for sure. He knows exactly what needs to be done for you to be flying a Frisbee right. I think most of these second run ethers can go back. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. They're a little too flippy for me, but we'll try this. This one is the most stiff out of the second run. So all the other ones I've been throwing are a little gummy, but we're gonna try this stiff one out and see how it flies. Give it a chance, nice hyzer, see how it is. Okay, I lied. I am keeping that second run ether right there. That second run on that clear with the with the stiff. That's one thing I've noticed is the stiffer, the more stable usually, right? Dome, doesn't really matter for dome because you can have like a gummy, domey one, not as good. 
but like a stiff dome or stiff flat, they seem to be a little bit more beefier. So you should keep that in mind when you're looking for your own stuff, you know, because you might need flippier. So look for the gummy stuff. All right, we got some more of the first run ethers here. We're gonna try them out, see how they fly. And then we're gonna be done. Maybe throw one spirit. I'm pretty sure that's 169 too. That's what, that's what really blows my mind about that board flat, those two board flat white ethers is that one of them's 170 i was like all right i'm keeping that one for sure and then this other one's 169 and i was like oh that's i mean that's the cutoff for me i'm like 170 and above i don't know why but that one beef that one that thing was beef so i don't know I'm, i might have to just go on and keep it we got the same kind of color but it's a little bit flatter didn't come out as stiff down or don't it's a little bit more domey That one can go back on the shelf. All right, that one was, that one was no good. It's not that, well, guys. When I say no good, I mean no good for me. All right, most of you guys watching this, it's probably perfect. Okay, it's probably just fine for y'all. But for me, I need to throw it extra far, extra hard. And so if it can't handle all this torque, then I can't be, you know, throwing it. But for you guys who throw like 350, maybe 400 max, that disc is going to be straight to flippy, maybe a more straight with like a little bit of stability. I mean, guys, if you throw 400 feet at like max distance, try an ether out. It's a little bit easier to get up to speed. I really love the ether, dude. I'm telling you guys. All right, one last shot of the day here. This ether, or sorry, no, not an ether. This is spirit. This spirit, I don't really need to practice with the spirit too much. I know how they're gonna fly. It's pretty, the most consistent mold, I think, in the Gateway lineup. It's Every time you get one, they're gonna be good. And by good, I mean beefy as shit, all right? So that's it for uh, today's little YouTube video. Just some uh, just some throws showing you guys, you know, the ethers and some of the new distance drivers. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go tell Dave Mac about uh, that, that like gray one, that gray one with the sparkles in it. That might be going in the motherfucking bag, dog. That shit was good. But yeah, I'm gonna go grab them up, maybe throw a couple back. But that's it for today's video i love all you guys shout out gateway uh love you guys check out the new gateway shirt pretty sure you can get these on the gateway website dude these things are dope uh really enjoying that so if go check them out gateway uh, i think it's gatewaydisksports.com all one word uh don't be putting spaces and shit but if you just look up gateway disc sports you'll find it online and so you go use code five ash uh, support me it's just a five like the number five and then ash so go support me use that get like 10 15 percent off uh so yeah love all you guys thank you guys for supporting me and watching the videos uh, it really really helps drop a like drop a comment and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace